telepathy, 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 tele, tele, telepathy, 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 telepathy. What is telepathy? It is a link between two minds talking to each other and making a communication possible without being there physically. As in, you can communicate pictures, feelings, colors, vibrations through distance, space, and I believe time as well. Sometimes messages take a little while to actually be received and other times they go instantly kind of like having just a conversation in some dms or something and it just kind of happens you're just kind of going and i've experienced this a few times drastically different time different ways the first few times that happened was when i was a missionary for the mormon church and back then, I believed that when I was giving somebody a blessing, it's when you put your hands on their head and you just say a prayer. And you're supposed to tap into that person's energy. You know, spirit is what they would call it. You know, they you would tap into that person's spirit. And through your faith and belief, you would be able to give them a message that had a lot to do with them. You know something personal at least that was the intention behind it and a few times I said some things in those prayers that really shocked the people that were listening to it one of them was this lady her son had recently committed suicide but I didn't know that in the prayer I said something about grieving and getting over a suicide I don't know why I said it I just felt compelled to say it and just came out as I was going through the prayer, believing that what I was saying was true, you know, based on that person that I was giving a blessing to. And there was another time where somebody had a sickness and she hadn't told anybody about it, but I may have mentioned something about a specific sickness that you're going to be able to it over soon it was something like that and she was really surprised like how did I know about it I'm like I don't know it just kind of came and the other time was with my friend Bree she runs a channel called Cosmic Unity Co you got to check it out I'll put a link down and I was in Canada and she's here in San Diego and I was like hey do you want to play a game I don't know why I said that. I just said, hey, you want to play a game? I was just waiting in the airport. I was like, all right, let's just kill some time. And I was like, let's play telepathy or something. Let's try to figure out what the other person is thinking or what they're, what they're envisioning. And so then we played this game, and I think the first time that we did it, it was kind of like um, envision an apple. And she was imagining a green ball or something like that. And so we were pretty close on that one. And then the next one, it was amazing. It was like, I was thinking about the image that she had in her head. And I started seeing sparkles on water. And then I look into the water and I kind of just see something swimming around. And I really got... A fishy vibe it was like fish there's like a fish in there just swimming around. and I was like it's a fish right and she responded like oh my god it is a fish I didn't catch that it was like an orange fish but I saw a fish that she was thinking about a fish I'm like wow that shit's crazy and so then we did that again and then it was like I was imagining a certain color for a stone and I said it was aqua or like 
aquamarine and, and green or something like that. It was a stone that she was holding. And it turns out that it was right. I'm not sure what kind of stone it actually was, but it was the right color. And so these experiences helped me realize that, yeah, there's certain things that happen between people when they're connected, whether they're walking by each other or if they just have some kind of friendship or relationship and can be long distance, it doesn't matter. You can still communicate in this such a natural way like this other dimensional way kind of like how insects communicate with each other or other organisms do so without actually speaking to each other we have that power and it's it's awesome and it's real and i think that the way to use it is to believe in it you know the more you believe in it like i did when I was a missionary, the more powerful it becomes, that, that channel to be able to communicate with each other in a spiritual way. And so I think it's awesome. And I'm going to continue to practice it. And if you want to practice it with me, hit me up. I don't know how to hit me up. Maybe I have an email or something. But yeah, I think it's fun because it's weird. And it's like, how does that actually work? Brains, are they, they are connected. I think they are connected. I think we're, all of our brains are connected to some kind of network. And we're connected to each other, the plants, the earth, the, the universe, everything. But, wow, to be able to just, hey, like, boom, <laughs> you got a new brain message you're like all right cool click Beek. oh snap that's a funny looking turtle oh i know <coughs> <coughs> damn dude be careful bro don't rip too hard shit see that's what i'm talking about stuff like that so yeah telekinesis telepathic powers are like x-men shit yeah, definitely, definitely learn how to do that. Peace.